What is up, YouTube? It is Docky or Docky Style Gaming, and I am back at it again with another Godfall video for you all today. And in this one, we are going to be breaking down all of the Valor Play shards for Aegis Horn. Now, in my last video, I let everybody decide in the comment section which Valor Plate they wanted to see me cover next and their shards, and Aegis Horn barely beat my boy Hinterclaw. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at all of Aegis Horn's exalted shards and seeing them in action. So, like I always say, without wasting any more of y'all's time, let's hop straight into this video and straight into the shard breakdowns. So, first and foremost, we are going to take a look at Aegis Horn's very first shard, the Aegis Strike. Now, before I get straight into the shard, I do want to mention, because I've been getting a lot of people asking about this, and I had the same issue, the unlock requirement for this shard is a bit iffy. Now, literally all you have to do is get shield bashes in the Earth Realm, which seems easy enough, but there's a couple things to take into consideration when unlocking this. First is you have to unlock the Shield Bash, which is the third level unlock on Shield Prime. And then the second thing you need to take note of is that even though it says you have to defeat enemies on Earth, you can't do it on the Earth Free Roam. Now, I don't know if it's just bugged like that, but you can't go into Free Roam and get the subject done. You could go into Earth Spirit Realm, Earth Lightbringer, Earth Dreamstones, Earth Hunts, anything else but Earth Free Roam. So I've been getting a lot of people asking, why can't I get this to unlock? It's probably because you're in Free Roam and it's probably because you might not have that skill unlocked on your skill grid. So hopefully that clears some things up for a few people who have still been trying to unlock this shard for Aegis Horn. But Aegis Strike. Now, what it says is whenever you block, you store 2000% of the damage prevented in your vengeance meter. It says store twice as much damage whenever you parry. Max is 50,000 damage. Now, once it's all stored, whenever you perform a shield bash, while your vengeance meter is at least at 50%, you can expend your vengeance meter to deal damage to enemies in a straight line equal to the amount expended and knock them down. So taking a look at here right here, it is very simple to do. All you have to do is just hold down your shield button because all you have to do is block the damage to store the damage. Now, if you want to parry, you can, and it is more beneficial because you store twice as much damage, but the easier way is to just hold down the block button and store all that additional damage. And once you start to go blue, you know that you are ready for your shield bash, and then you will unleash a pretty impressive ability to all of your enemies in a straight line. So that is the Exalted Age of Strike. Next, let's take a look at the second shard for Aegis Horn, the Stasis Banner. Now, this is pretty simple, but also very, very good. It applies stasis to all enemies within your banner aura for every 10 seconds. And on top of that, you gain 300 overhealth whenever you hit an enemy that's in stasis. And to be honest, most of the banner abilities with these Valor Play shards are pretty damn good. And this one is no different. Being able to freeze enemies and then also gaining overhealth just by hitting them is super useful. Again, you don't even have to kill them, you just have to hit them and you'll gain over health while they're in stasis. So this is super dope and super useful for some other shards when it comes to gaining over health. And of course, that's what you're taking a look at right here in some of this background gameplay. But speaking of over health, let's move over to one of the most powerful shards for Aegis Horn, and that is the Way of the Shell. Now this Valor Play Shard, when exalted, gives you 402% weapon technique damage when you have more than 423 overhealth. Now, this number is a bit off if I'm being real, but honestly, as long as you have more than half overhealth, you're dealing over 402 weapon tech damage. Now I say over 402 because most of y'all's gear is most likely rocking some additional weapon tech damage, especially if you're rocking items like Twilight Bloom, getting some more on top of that. Your weapon tech damage can be insane, and I can already see so many builds building around just this alone. Again, Way of the Shield is a very, very powerful power play shard for Aegis Horn. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be messing around with one of my loadouts to see if I could get the most out of this. Now, moving on to Aegis Horn's final shard, we have the Beetle Technique. You can now parry enemy red attacks and you gain 800 overhealth whenever you parry a red attack. Now, this is super dope because essentially he can block anything in the game. Not only is he about to become so tanky with some of his passives as well, but all of his abilities that give him some additional overhealth is going to add to that as well. And then again, paired with his last Valor Blade shard, dealing that additional weapon tech damage while also gaining 
gaining some over health is just insane. Whether you're using your banner, whether you're using beetle technique, or items to just give you over health, Aegis Horn is about to be a beast. Now, speaking of passives, his ascendant passive is plus 20 over health retention, which is already very useful for a Valor Plate that can gain so much over health. And then his exalted passive is so damn good. It is while above 75% over health, your attacks cannot be interrupted. Now, his exalted passive is just a slightly nerfed force barrier, but it is still very good to have anything that can allow you to not be interrupted while you have additional over health. And Again, with Aegis Horn, you're going to constantly be getting overhealth. I see why this is a Valor Plate that a lot of people are using to complete Exalted Towers of Trials. He is a very cheesy Valor Plate, and it is very easy to do it with a Valor Plate that gets this much overhealth and can deal so much weapon tech damage. Or how even placing this banner to freeze a couple ads on screen while also gaining some overhealth from that is also very nice. His shard combination possibilities are insane, and if you are a Aegis Horn player or main, you are going to have a whole lot of fun building for this power plate now now personally for my build i am rocking way of the shell and the stasis banner but honestly i keep bouncing between way of the shell and beetle technique or way of the shell and stasis banner but as it stands right now i am using that banner to freeze some enemies and get some over health whenever i hit them and then of course that weapon tech damage like you just better be rocking this on every ages horn build that weapon tech damage is insane and like i said being able to increase it by stupid numbers with some of your gear is going to make Aegis Horn a powerhouse on top of the tank that he already is. So hopefully you all enjoy this video on the Exalted Shards for Aegis Horn. I will have proper builds for every Valor Plate coming to the channel soon, so definitely stay tuned. But now that I've got every Valor Plate Exalted, I do want to at least showcase all of their abilities on the channel and let players see or get a feel for them or just see which ones they want to start focusing on unlocking first. There's a lot of shards to unlock and a lot of shards that players don't even know what they actually do. So it's better to showcase them first before I start focusing on builds on the channel. And then when I do focus on builds i can at least build around specific shards and I'll let you all know what i'm running and what might be more beneficial for that power play but again hopefully this all helped you all make a decision if you are an aegis horn player or aegis horn main or honestly just considering picking up any of these shards for aegis horn and if it did let me know in the comment section below along with what valor plate you want to see me cover tomorrow i will be streaming later tonight and going over some specific builds so if you're interested or want to chat up a bit more about this valor plate and some others be sure to stop by the stream a link to the twitch channel is in the video description along with a link to the discord as well where we have guides builds lfgs and so much more for godfall games i cover on the channel and some other games i might not other than that though guys thank you all for watching like always be sure to leave a like if you liked the video and if you didn't still leave a like because nobody's gonna see that dislike other than that i will catch y'all on the next one thanks for the love thanks for the subs peace